Kosovo does not negotiate with Serbian terrorists, taking a stand for international justice. In the face of escalating tensions in the northern region of Kosovo, one thing remains clear, Kosovo does not negotiate with Serbian terrorists. This principled stance upholds the values of international justice and reflects the commitment of Kosovo to maintaining its sovereignty and territorial integrity. The United States and the international community must unequivocally support this stance or risk compromising the principles they hold dear. Recent events have brought to light the increasing threat posed by Serbian terrorists in northern Kosovo. On September 18, 2023, an armed attack targeted Kosovo police officers in the village of Serbovk, in the Sveen municipality of northern Kosovo. This attack aimed to disrupt police services and sow fear in this sensitive area. While one Kosovo police officer sustained minor injuries, significant damage was inflicted on the police vehicle. This attack followed a period of heightened tensions, both within Kosovo and in the wider region. Kosovo police increased their presence in the area to ensure public safety, but their actions were met with strong opposition from Belgrade. Serbian authorities have openly challenged Kosovo's right to operate in northern Kosovo, citing the 2013 Brussels Agreement as a basis for restricting Kosovo's actions in the region. However, this interpretation of the Brussels Agreement is flawed, as the document does not curtail Kosovo's authority to operate in this area. Furthermore, Belgrade has exploited the situation by announcing plans to send 1,000 Serbian security forces to Kosovo. This provocative move only serves to exacerbate tensions and threatens regional peace. The escalation of the situation in northern Kosovo comes at a critical time for the region. Local elections are scheduled for December 18 in four northern municipalities, Mitrovica North, Lepasavik, Sveen, and Zubin Potok. The Serb list, backed by Belgrade, opposes these elections and, in protest against the Kosovo government's decision to re-register vehicles with illegal Serbian license plates, resigned from their positions in the local administrations. These elections represent a legitimate effort to restructure local governance and ensure fair representation for all communities in Kosovo. In response to the recent tensions and attacks, the United States has called for the postponement of these elections. This call demonstrates international recognition of the challenges and risks present in northern Kosovo and the need for a strong response to protect peace and security in the region. In conclusion, Serbian terrorist attacks in Kosovo pose a serious threat to peace and stability in the region. The negative influence of Belgrade and its efforts to restrict Kosovo's actions are factors that fuel tensions. Internationally, it is crucial for the international community to intervene to prevent further escalation and safeguard Kosovo's territorial integrity. A strong and coordinated response is necessary to preserve peace and security in this sensitive region. The United States and its allies should stand firmly behind Kosovo's refusal to negotiate with Serbian terrorists, upholding the principles of international justice and reinforcing Kosovo's commitment to sovereignty and peace. Failure to do so would undermine the very principles that the international community cherishes. Kosovo's unwavering stance against negotiating with Serbian terrorists should serve as a beacon of hope for justice and peace in the region.